If you're interested in the benefits of red light therapy, but are confused about what color light to use for different health benefits, you're in the right place. In this video, I will break down everything you need to know about the types of light you might be seeing in your red light therapy device like the Loom Box. I will also share the one type of light I will never use. Hi, I'm Dr. Viv. Welcome to the Loom Box channel where we share science-based information about red light therapy. If you're interested in the caption, I've left a link to get $260 off. All right, so if you've been looking for a red light therapy device, you might have seen red and near infrared, and maybe even blue or green thrown into the device. What do the different colors mean? Check out this diagram of the electromagnetic spectrum. All the colors we can see with the naked eye are in this visible light spectrum. Purple, blue, green, and yellow colors have shorter wavelengths. These cannot penetrate the skin very well. In other words, purple and blue over here will not reach as deep into our tissue as red and orange over here. Red light has a longer wavelength and can do a lot for our skin. There is solid scientific research showing it can improve the appearance of our skin like fine lines, wrinkles and blemishes. But there's also a lot it can do for our health underneath the skin too. And this is why it's my favorite wellness tool. Now, if you go a little bit further along the spectrum, the light becomes invisible. So here we've got infrared light. And infrared encompasses a huge range of wavelengths from near infrared, starting at around 700 nanometers, to far infrared, which can have wavelengths as long as one millimeters. Far infrared light is the wavelength usually used in infrared saunas because it can penetrate deep into the body to raise the core temperature. So the benefits of infrared sauna and red light therapy are quite different. Don't confuse the two. And we have another video explaining this in more detail. To get the skin rejuvenating, tissue repairing, and pain relieving benefits, the two wavelengths you need to be concerned about are red and near infrared. What's the difference between these two? Inside our cells, there are tiny receptors that respond well to specific wavelengths of red and near infrared. When these receptors are activated by this light, they nudge the cell to work better and produce more energy in the form of ATP so that the cellular processes that uses ATP and energy can work better. Red light is usually within the wavelength of around 600 to 700 nanometers. Most studies point towards somewhere around 660 nanometers being the optimal wavelength for the health benefit. This wavelength can reach through the skin barrier to about two to three millimeters under the surface. And there are some high quality split phase studies showing that just nine weeks of red light increased collagen in the skin on biopsy and also reduced the appearances of wrinkles and fine lines. Loombox is designed to emit specifically 660 nanometers of wavelengths of red light. I love to use this on my skin as well as surface level issues like cuts and scrapes because studies have also shown that it can be really good for skin healing. Now be warned, there are people on the internet saying you can just use a red light bulb to get these benefits. The truth is you really can't. So be sure to hit that subscribe button because our next video is going to be all about that. Moving on to the second wavelength we like, which is Near infrared. Near infrared light makes up the whole section of the light spectrum between 700 to 1400 nanometers, with most studies using 850 to 950 nanometers. What's the biggest difference between this and 660 nanometer red light? Near infrared light can penetrate deeper and may reach 3 to 10 millimeters into the skin. So if you need to target something deep, like joints, muscles, near infrared is the best light to use. Here's an example of a randomized controlled trial. They used a near infrared LED light to see if it could help manage pain in patients with chronic lower back pain. 40 people who'd experienced pain for over six years randomly received either the light treatment or a placebo, sham light or fake light. After seven weeks of light therapy, the average pain scores decreased from 6.9 out of 10 to 3 out of 10 for the group who used 
near infrared light. That's over a 50% reduction using red light therapy once a week. In the placebo group, the decrease was only from 7.5 out of 10 to 6 out of 10. So here's an easy way to remember what wavelength to use. For things you can see, for example, the skin use light that you can see. For things that you cannot see, like joints, muscles, use lights that you cannot see, which is near infrared. Now, the biggest advantage you get with Loombox is that each bulb emits both red and near infrared together. So on the combined mode, you get both red and near infrared coming out of each bulb instead of the alternating bulbs of near infrared and red, which is usually what you see on the market. And if you're ever confused about which wavelength to use, use the combined mode because this combines both red and near infrared. There's actually science backing using both wavelengths too. For example, this randomized control study looked at the performance of 12 high-level rugby players during an anaerobic field test after they used red light therapy. The light they used was red plus near infrared pre-exercise and after some sprint tests. If they'd used red light therapy, they experienced reduced fatigue during the test and red light therapy also led to a decrease in blood lactate levels, which is that feeling of heaviness and soreness and burning when you exercise. Now, what about blue? That's commonly seen in those face masks for Skin. Blue can have antimicrobial properties, so it may be helpful for those with acne. However, a big downside is that studies have shown that blue may actually age our skin and lead to pigmentation, particularly if you have darker skin. So I personally avoid blue light at all costs. But if you've been directed by your dermatologist to use blue, then by all means follow their guidance because they know you best. Choosing a good red light therapy device can be really tricky, but as an expert in the space, here is what I recommend. First off, look for a device that emits both red and near infrared light from the same bulb. That way you get the best coverage. Second, ensure that it has high irradiance and has been third party tested to have that high irradiance. Number three, look for low EMF. So there you have it. Let me know which part of this video you found most helpful and please post your questions in the comments and we'll get back to you with more of the details. And if you don't have your own red light therapy device already, as a thank you for supporting our channel, I've included a link to get Loombox for $260 off in the caption. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as well as we've got endless cool tips to share with you that you don't want to miss.